You think you know A Nightmare on Elm Street? Well, here's 15 things you may not have known about Wes Craven's tale of Freddy Krueger. This is just a dream. This isn't real. This is just a dream. He isn't real. He isn't real. (laughs) The idea of nightmares posing a physical threat came to director Wes Craven after hearing about a group of refugees in the 1970s who had terrible nightmares and refused to sleep, causing some of the refugees to die in their sleep. Wes Craven named the main villain in his film after his childhood bully, Fred Krueger. Please, God. This is God. Craven chose the red and green striped sweater for Krueger after reading an article that they were the most clashing colors to the human eye. Wes Craven pitched the film to several studios. Disney wanted him to tone down the scares and make it more kid-friendly. Paramount was already working on a dream film. And Universal just said no. Craven even framed their rejection letter and hung it in his office. Independent studio New Line Cinema picked up the film. A Nightmare on Elm Street was such a hit for the small studio that they're sometimes referred to as the house that Freddy built. (laughs) The budget for A Nightmare on Elm Street was just $1.8 million, but it earned over $25 million at the U.S. box office alone. The makeup artist on the film based Freddy Krueger's burns on actual burn victim photographs that he'd obtained from the UCLA Medical Center. There were two gloves built for the production, one that could actually cut things, and a stunt glove for the actors. To help Robert England land the role of Freddy Krueger, when he auditioned, he darkened his lower eyelids with some cigarette ash and slicked back his hair. Although Freddy's the main villain in the film, he's only on screen for less than seven minutes. Uh, Just some kids drag racing outside, I think, Mom. Listen, Ma, I gotta go. I think there's been an accident out front. A Nightmare on Elm Street was Johnny Depp's feature film debut. Johnny Depp went with his friend Jackie Earl Haley to audition for the film. Haley would go on to play Freddy Krueger in the 2010 remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street. Over 500 gallons of fake blood were used in the production. The set for Glenn's room was the same rotating set that was used for Tina's room. The bathtub in this scene was actually part of a set that was constructed over a swimming pool. The sleep doctor was played by Charles Fleischer, who did the voice of Roger Rabbit. And here's a bonus one. There was an alternate, happier ending that was shot, but ultimately not used in the final film. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.